Alrighty ho everyone, we are back after a incredible win against the Blue Jays in game one of the World Series. Um, a 24 hit um, game where we scored 20 runs. 20 to 6 win. That's unbelievable. I've never seen anything like that in a game I've played. Like I mentioned in the video, you see that maybe occasionally when you're simming a season, but I've never, never, never have seen that um, in a game that I've actually played. So that just made me all the more excited to get back and play game two. Um, interested to see how how it goes, if we can keep up that hot start, or does that affect any of the hot streaks on our team, or, or anything like that. So, in game two, we're still at home, and we're going to throw uh, Josiah Gray. So, we chased uh, Walker Bueller, a former Dodger, from the game. He pitched two-thirds of an inning. That's it. That's all he pitched. He didn't even get through the first inning. So, now we're playing uh, Julio Urias, who is another former Dodger. Um, very good season, 3.7 war. Um, limits everything. Uh, walks, home runs, base runners, um, decent uh, uptick on his strikeouts uh, from last year. And if you look at his ratings, um, pretty solid overall. Um, movement is a little average, so maybe we get some home runs off of him. But I thought we were going to have trouble beating Bueller. And I feel like everything is a pendulum in life, baseball, everything. So... I'm not expecting to have another high hit game. I wouldn't be surprised if this is like a pitcher's duel with uh, Josiah. But um, I'm interested to see how this goes. So uh, we're playing, like I said, game two. I do want to look at uh, Urias' last few starts. Let's see. Four and two-thirds, three and two-thirds, five, five, six. So he doesn't necessarily go super deep. But, man, when he pitches, he's effective. 8K, six, six, seven, six strikeouts in his last five games. Um, pretty good with walks, limit some home runs, only has given up one earned run at most in his last five starts. That's it. If anything's their saving grace is that, uh, his stamina is meh. So let's try to get on him early and, um, limit how deep he goes in the game. And maybe we can get back to that bullpen that should be pretty tired, um, uh, that should be pretty tired based on uh, what happened yesterday. Now, he's a lefty, so we're going to bring in um, um, a Rosarena in, but we're going to put Martin up, who I, I was looking through the, the, like, the statistics here. Martin has actually um, well, he won the NL, NLCS MVP, um, so just pretty cool nugget there. Okay, so, yeah, that's good. We're going to move. Uh, wait, hold on. Is Riley Green actually better against? Okay, no, he's not. All right. So, Pache first, Kalenic, Mountcastle, Austin Martin. We'll do that. Martin, Rosarena, Brujan, Jimenez, Kiebert. Okay, I like that. That's good. I feel comfortable with that. Um, and we'll start game two in Los Angeles still. So last game before we head to Toronto for three. All right, so they get the first at bat. They get the first chance to strike back after that. Um, I still can't get over that game. It was like every... We had we we had as many hits as we did their outs. Like you get twenty seven outs and we had twenty four hits, which is crazy. So like I said, the um, Blue Jays get the first chance at answering back. Two zero pitch from Gray to Guerrero. I was gonna say that's dangerous. Two zero pitch to Guerrero. We all know where that could end up, and that's a home run, four hundred twenty feet to left center. So hopefully that's Gray. You know. Gray's only home run this game, but it's only one run. And like I said, like I've said before, the Warriors' run will come for us in an inning. 
So Pache will start off against Urias. And let's see if we can get him out of the game early so we can get to that bullpen that was, I don't want to say decimated yesterday, but wasn't good. Kalenic now up. First pitch he sees from Urias. Puts it in play to short, and that's going to be a second out. It's going to bring up Mountcastle, full count. Come on, walk, baby. Okay. Tescar Hernandez, T. Oscar Hernandez, who is on fire. It's going to ground out to Jimenez. One down. George Springer. He's going to rope that in the left field. Runner on. Javier Baez. Yeah, I don't want to, like, uh, have false... Uh, um, false notions after that after that win because this is a tough team um, that that does a lot right. And you can see just by the first two innings in this game. All right, you got to get the pitcher out, and we do fly out to Pache in center field, my man. All right, Austin Martin, the Aston Martin is up. And that's going to center field. That's going to be a double, it looks like. Uh, Martin, oh, I thought he was going to round for third. I was like, I don't know about that. So runner on second, no outs. A Rosa Reina, who had two home runs yesterday for six RBI. 3-1 pitch. He's going to take a walk. He is first and second, no outs for Vidal Brujan. 3-1 pitch. Can he take a walk now? He does. Bases juiced for Andreas Jimenez. 0-2 pitch. Out number one. Kiebert Ruiz. 1-0 pitch. Oh, yes. Is that Kiebert who Ruiz grand slam home run in the bottom of the second. 404 feet gives the Dodgers a 4-1 to one lead. Four runs on two hits. Walks. Walks are never good. Um, Josiah Gray now, 0-2 pitch with one out. He's going to swing and miss. That brings up Pache with a 2-0 count. And he's going to hit a dribbler. Can that be an infield hit? It is. So Pache on base now with Kalenic up. Urias, 35 pitches in the second inning. Full count to Klenick. That's a walk. Mountcastle now up. 1-2 pitch. He's going to smack one. Is that gone? It's, doesn't, it's not gone. It's top of the wall. That's going to score two runs. And Mountcastle's going to third. And he slides in with a triple. The score is now 6-1. to one. Dodgers. The bottom of the six. And we chase... Urias from the game. He makes it one and two-thirds innings. Ottavino comes in, pitched yesterday. The Aston Martin is up. He started this whole thing with a double to center field. 3-1 count. And he will end the inning with a ground out to second base. What an incredible inning. <laughs> now we got to limit what they can do from here. One out. Guriel. That's going to be a sharp grounder to third, but Martin takes care of it. Guerrero homeward in the first inning. And he's going, Martin with all three um, assists in the inning. We're down the bottom third with a Rosarena now up against Ottavino, who's still in the game. And he's going to pop out to, looks like, third base. Biggio takes it. Now Brujan. 0-1 pitch from Ottavino. And he's going to hit that one down right, right field line. That's going to be at least a double. And he slides into second base. One out, runner on second with, uh, I believe, Jimenez up. Yep, Jimenez is now up. 1-2 pitch. And Jimenez is going to 
get thrown out at first, despite a deep grounder to Baez at short. Now Kiebert Ruiz is up, who hit a grand slam. Grand slam his last at bat. 1-2 pitch. And he's going to fly out to left. Kiebert, we'll talk about turning around between the wild card game, the divisional series, um, and even the first, like, three games of the um, championship, or the, uh, yeah, the, the, the LCS. Josiah Gray settles in against Bichette. That's going to be over the head of Pache. No, it's not. Pache chases it down and makes the catch. Teoscar Hernandez, 2-0 pitch. That's going to be a sharp fly ball, and Kalenic makes a diving catch. Brings up George Springer, 0-2 count. And that's going to be a pop out to the catcher. Oh, Ruiz drops it. Should have been the end of the inning right there. 0-2 count to Springer, and he gets on. Javier Baez now, 2-2 two -two count. He's going to single. Springer stretches it to third, and he's in safe. Reese McGuire up now, 2-2 two -two pitch. Swing and a miss, and the inning over. So it prolonged the inning a little bit, but still got out of it with no damage. Josiah Gray now up. He's 2 for 10 in the playoffs with an RBI at the plate. Make that 3 for 11 in the playoffs. Josiah Gray gets on base now. That brings up Pache. Ottavino still in the game. We'd like to get him out. We want to get to the other pitchers as well. 2-2 two -two pitch. That's a pop out. Kalenic now. Oh, they're going to Craig Stammen now. 0-1 oh, pitch to Kalenic. And Kalenic's going to fly out to left field. Two down with Mountcastle up to bat. One, two pitch. And he's going to line out the short. Ending is over. So we still lead 6-1 to one going to the top of the fifth. Gonna keep an eye on Gray here. I'd like him to get at least through six innings. And that's going to be an infield hit for uh, Grichuk, who's pinch hitting. So they're going to have to use another pitcher, so I like that. Kevin Biggio, he's going to smack one over the fence. That's a home run. Cuts the lead to three. Guriel's up. And he's going to pop one foul to Mountcastle, who makes the grab one down. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., 0-2 pitch. He's going to fly out to left field. This lineup is deep. It's there's no there's no safety in it. I'm gonna be interested to see what happens when we go to the AL. Aston Martin going against Ross Stripling, who is on a is in a slump and got, I believe, beat up. Yeah, he did get beat up for five runs in like an inning or two innings last game. First pitch to Martin. Martin has turned it on these playoffs. He's going to ground out the second. Oh, can't hit a double every time up, you know. A Rosarina, 0-2 count. And then Bruhan, 2-1 pitch. That's going to be a fly out to left. All right, Stripling might have um, pulled his act together here between yesterday and today. Teoscar Hernandez. 1-0 count. He's going to fly out the center. And now George Springer. Full count. And that's going to be a walk. Javier Baez now up. 0-2 pitch. He's going to fly out to left. All right, let's get through. Let's get one more out here, Gray. Let's get one more out. Reese McGuire, the masturbator, is up. And he dribbles it. In front of the Ruiz, and Ruiz picks it up, throws it to first. That inning is over. All right, Jimenez. And then now look, all of a sudden, Ruiz is on fire. Wild how fortunes change like that. Stripling now against Jimenez. One, two count. And he's gonna, Jimenez is going to pop out to Baez at short. All right, 
let's get um oh, our bullpen's looking good right now. I like that. Got a righty, lefty, righty, 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 righty. Okay. We will go with uh greater all. <laughs> let's just keep pumping them full of innings. We do have a break between the next games, I think, which would which will get them back to a hundred if we use them judiciously. All right, so uh, Ruiz singles into center, and we have a righty up. Hmm. We're going to go Riley Green here. Riley Green against Ross Stripling. I really like our odds here. Full count. That's a walk. There we go. Pache now up. Stripling getting a little bit tired here. Full count. The Pache swing and a miss. That's a big out right there. And they bring in Ryan Tepera, who pitched yesterday. Who to count to Kalenic and the pass ball runner on second and third. Kalenic with a 2 2 count now. And he's going to single into center. That's going to score one. That's going to score two. And Kalenic with an RBI, with a two RBI single. Pushes the lead to eight to three with Mount Castle on board now. One two pitch, and Mount Castle's going to fly out the center to end the inning. We're going into the seventh now, and we're going to bring in Graterall. I would like to limit him to an inning. I would like to limit everyone we throw tonight to an inning because we're going to have some time to, I think, get back to 100% here in terms of stamina. After this game, if it goes well, obviously I'm assuming that we don't have any huge blow-ups here. Swing and a miss. Can Greater All strike out the side? He does. One, two, three go down on strikes. So now we're going to Greater All is now officially on fire, baby. You got to love that. So we'll get um, Devin Williams will be the next one up. Aston Martin. Elvis Luciano. I don't think he's pitched yet this series. And Martin, first pit, second pitch from him, him doubles down the left field line. The guy is a doubles machine. No outs, runner on second. Randy Arozarena now up. 1 0 pitch. And Arozarena is going to knock at least a double. That's going to bring in Martin. Rosarina's at second, and he's going to stay there. Vidal Brujan now up with no outs still and a runner on second. A Rosarina replaced Martin. 0-1 pitch to Brudal. Brujan, not Brudal, Brujan. It combined Greater All's name with Brujan's name. Uh, Jimenez now up. 2-2 pitch to Jimenez. And he's going to get thrown out at first base. All right, who are we going to get up here? Scores 9-3. to three. I kind of want to give Scooble and Gore a chance to like redeem themselves a little bit. We'll get Gore up, but we're also going to follow that with, uh, with Clay Say. 2-2 pitch to Ruiz, and he's going to ground out the third, it looks like. Yep, and the inning is over. All right, Great Earl, you've been good. We're going to limit you here. Just want to see if Gore can probably wrong lineup to bring him in and try this, but just see if he can get through one inning, kind of redeem himself, give him a shot at redemption here. Bo Bichette now up, 1-2 pitch. Double, shit. To Oscar Hernandez, full count. Fucking balk, are you kidding me? Gore is 
Let's see, George Springer, can we get him out? Jimenez fucks it up at short. That's got to be an error, right? No, infield hit. Okay. So, I mean, not a um, fantastic inning from Gore, but sure as hell better than that um, than what he's previously done this postseason. So we're going to pinch it for Gore. we got a righty on the mound here. We're going to go with Gorman. O one one pitch to Gorman. Ooh, and it whacks Gorman. Looks like right in the back. Pache now up. 1-2 pitch. He's going to fly out. Gorman's going to go halfway and circle back to first. And we shall get up. Let's get up uh, to Gus. Kalenic, 2-2 two -two pitch. Swing and a miss. Mountcastle now up, 3-1 pitch. He's going to swing, and that's going to end up as a single. Runners on first and second with uh, the Aston Martin up, who's 2-4 for four this game. 1-2 pitch. Sharp one to third, but nothing that um, Biggio can't handle. All right, to Gus, you're in the game. One two pitch to Reese McGuire, the car masturbator. I will never forget that. Rowdy Telez now up. One two pitch to Rowdy. Swing and a miss. Now Kevin Biggio, 1-2 pitch. The Gus just mows him down. And the Dodgers take a 2-0 lead in the World Series. Look at that. Ruiz, 2-4. for four. Martin, 2-5. for five. Mountcastle, 2-5. for five. Ruiz with 4 RBI. And then Mountcastle and Kalenic with 2 RBIs apiece. Um, apiece. So, pretty efficient outing from our pitching, from our pitchers. Gray, uh, limited damage. Um, I think he pitched better than what maybe the stat line shows. Um, despite, oh, I don't know, two home runs kind of meh. One was to Guerrero, though. Urias, we just got on him so quickly. Um, didn't, make it much, didn't make it much longer than um, Bueller. But got back into the bullpen. Where these guys who pitched yesterday had to pitch again today. Player of the game, Kiebert Ruiz. Not a surprise there. Man, he's turned it around. Talk about turning your playoffs and your fortunes around there. Grand slam, Kiebert. There you go. So now, let's see, we have a day off before we play game three. And we're going against Nate Pearson. So what I think I know about Nate Pearson is that can throw strikes. He can strike your ass out, but he will. He can also walk your ass pretty easily too. Um, stamina, meh. Let's see. This year, 33 starts, 14 and nine, six ERA. Struck out 192 and 150 and 159 innings. That's pretty good. Yeah, high home runs. Give up 35 home runs. So two home runs per nine. Pretty good limiting walks. And then good from a strikeout perspective, uh, 1.2 war. So not a great year, not a bad year. Uh, any team would be happy to have him. Uh, his ratings, worse against lefties. Not a surprise as he's a righty. He made the all-star team last year. So we're going to throw Shane Bieber. It's interesting. We have a 2-0 lead in the World Series. In the World Freaking Series, we've scored 29 runs between two games. And we haven't thrown our best pitcher yet, Bieber. So we'll see how this one how this one comes. This is a we're in a very good opportunity here to take a 3-0 lead. But we'll do that next episode. Uh, I appreciate y'all joining, and we are inching closer to our back-to-back -back World Series. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.